YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Evil Genius 2 Press Build Preview Quick Tip. So today, it is time we focused on defining and refining individual rooms. And what better room to start with than the laboratory? Once you've captured a scientist, which we have, and set up a training room, which we also have, uh, it allows you to train more, you'll be able to set up a lab. However, there are several pitfalls that an unsuspecting player might trip over when uh, going to establish their lab. When you first lay down your lab, and yes, I'm painting this lab into the shell of our old uh, barracks here. Uh, in fact, actually, let me let me divert and show you this real quick. Um, once you've emptied an old room out of the old objects, just paint the new room type into it. Don't forget the doorway. Uh, and also, I realize we aren't using all of our space here that we can. I think the doorway converts itself, actually. But we do want this little extra piece here. So yeah, that's all you have to do to convert a new, uh, an old room into a new type while still using the same space, that hermit crabbing I was talking about. Now, when you first uh, lay down your lab here, you, you'll see one of three different um, uh, little shiny science objects. And while, yes, they are pointing you towards the whiteboard here, uh, you might feel that, oh, uh, we need to do, we need to uh, place one of each. Uh, enough gold to complete this construction. Um, and uh, to, to an extent, that's, that's um, you, you can. It's not always ideal, though. And allow me to explain here. Um, so let's 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 get this set up first, just so I can demonstrate. Now that our lab is furnished, we are ready to dive into research. What technology should we research first, and what order um, is best, is a topic for another video. For, for now, we're going to go with their suggested one, the larger storage bays, just for the uh, just for the sake of, of of experimentation here. Now, as you can see, um, this uh, this particular flavor of research requires the whiteboard. So now, now notice here. So we are re now researching a technology. We have two scientists, two scientist minions researching. We got the one cranking away at the at the whiteboard here, uh, doing their thing, slowly accumulating our uh, research here. But it's a bit of a trickle. Even even with Zalika, the science uh, mastermind, um, who's using her science boosting powers, it's still kind of a trickle. So why why isn't this guy helping? Is he on break? No. Here's the thing. You need a copy of that particular um, science object for every scientist you want to employ. Thus, having a diverse set of scientific uh, devices in your lab is not necessarily um, the thing that you want. The research rate isn't going to be very good. Not to mention this thing, despite it sitting here idle, is still sucking 10 power from our generators and not doing anything. Um, now, because you can only have one science project going at a time, it's not like we can queue up another science project that requires the, the, the impact analyzer. Um, we have to finish up the, um, we have to finish up our current one. So it's not like we can set several projects to go at the same time. So what do? What, what's the, what's the best solution around this? Your best bet is to have many copies of the same research object built. So we're actually going to sell this thing off and we're going to build more whiteboards. Four should be perfect uh, for, for our early game needs. And just to... Um, uh, just to get our um, uh, minions staffed up here, what I like to do is I like to train up a number of minions equal to the number of slots that can employ them um, uh, times 0.5. So we've got four uh, four slots that can employ our scientists. We want six scientists. Uh, that's to account for the uh, minions going on break, uh, recharging their batteries, uh, you know, doing science work drains their smarts, um, and they'll be needing to go to the cafeteria and the um, barracks in order to recover. So they're not, you know, if we want 100% uptime on the devices we've got here, uh, you're going to want to make sure uh, you have extra scientists. Just sort of the same way as uh, with Two Point Hospital, you're going to want some extra people, um, 
And there we have it. Now our science is flowing quickly. We've got four copies of this. We've got three scientists on here. One of the others is on break and we're training up some of the spares. Now you might be saying, Pinstar, this is all well and good for whiteboard research, but what happens if I want to research something that requires a different science object? Well, there are one or two ways to approach that. One option would be to sell off your whiteboards and maintain uh, and build different machines in their place. Uh, this retooling approach is certainly space efficient, but involves some downtime while you wait for your minions to install the replacement devices. The other option is to build additional labs focused on the other devices. This allows you to switch gears very quickly. If you go this approach, don't forget to power down your unwanted um, uh, devices. This allows you to um, uh, save on power for the type of device that isn't being used, so they're not a strain on your power gear. Now the lab can start small as tier one and tier two techs are pretty quick to research, uh, but you may need to expand them as you get deeper into the tech tree. Um, so I hope this helps you uh, uh, get your evil empire off the, to a brilliant start and puts the mind in the term mastermind. Uh, so uh, until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button and please share it with a friend. And once again, thank you to Rebellion for providing me with a free early copy of Evil Genius 2 uh, so I can bring these videos to you.